Other news tonight here at 10 o'clock, those receiving federal benefits could be in limbo tonight if the government defaults on its debt as Congress haggles over raising the debt limit. News 8's Adam Pinsker joins us now. So, Adam, why should Hoosiers be worried? Well, if you get federal benefits, Alexis, you should be worried. There are about 67 million Americans receiving Social Security benefits. Those payouts could be in jeopardy if the government can't pay its debts. Congress still has a week to work something out. But financial experts say if you depend on these government programs, you should prepare to begin to lose them, at least temporarily. The term debt limit is being thrown around a lot these days. Think of it as the government's credit line. It's just a limit on what our debt can be. So, right, if you are you have a credit card, you got a debt limit of $5,000 on the card. And once that happens, you can't charge anymore. Director of Ball State Center for Business and Economic Research, Dr. Michael Hicks, says if Congress doesn't agree to raise the debt limit by June 1st, it will default on its payments. That means people who rely on Social Security, Medicaid, and Medicare won't receive their checks even members of the military may not get paid. I was a young army officer and we had a debt limit, so we actually bumped pay into the next month. So everybody wasn't paid for several days. Um, that's happened before. It could certainly happen again. CEO of the National Financial Educators Council, Vin Shorb, says if you're someone who receives government benefits, now is the time to prepare for a gap in your income. Anybody you know on those government type programs, be prepared, sock away what you can. This will continue to happen in the future, and it's important that you are prepared for that. It's also a good time to reach out to someone you know who receives these benefits to make sure they're prepared. Retirees living off their stock values would also be hurt by a government default. If the stalemate over the debt ceiling continues into the summer, Hicks says it could thrust the country into a recession. You think about the countries who've defaulted on debt, and you're listing a, a bunch of failed states, Zimbabwe, Peru, you know, Argentina in the 1980s. Nonprofit organizations that receive government grants could also lose that funding if the government defaults. That could lead to staff furloughs. Adam Pinsker, wishtv.com, and like us on Facebook.